Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I have a laptop here. Bang and Olufsen laptop, Core i5, Elite Book. The lady who brought this in actually came from somewhere up in the interior of the island. I'm not sure where she got my number from, but somebody gave it to her. And she says it is dead. She's brought me the charger with it. I can just power this up from the charger and she says normally you would just press this button and it doesn't boot up nothing happens i don't hear the fan so basically they've gone to have a coffee and they said or rather i suggested also leave it with me for an hour if i can fix this in an hour it's fixed if i can't well i'll just have to tell you what's what with it yeah so can we fix it First thing that springs to mind is we have the sort of usual problem here where the BIOS or rather the EC is screwed up, it doesn't want to start. So let's open it up and have a look. I have noticed by the way, this thing seems to have been dropped. You see this corner here? Uh, no longer nice and curved like the other one. So whether that's a clue, I don't know. Same in this corner, you see this is bent. Yeah, so this is like that edge. Yeah, you can see it doesn't quite fit properly. Okay. Maybe this will help me to get inside here then. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's see. Well, we can try disconnecting the battery. There's probably no CMOS battery on this, but let's just have a quick check first to see if power's actually getting into this. What voltage rails we have? Do we have any shorts maybe? So, power connected. I'm thinking these might be ground. Maybe not. Yeah, 19 volts there, so power's coming in. Some coils, let's have a look. 3.3, 5, yeah, there's your standby supplies, basically. Oh, 1.8's up, interesting. 12. Nothing on that one. 5. Something's a bit warm here. Quite warm here. Oh, something is warm here. What else do we have? Nothing. Nothing. That's all of them. Something here is getting hot, guys. Yeah, let's see what it is. In fact, actually, let's just see if we can see any shorts around here. So, I've just switched the power off. Disconnect the power supply. Almost a hundred K on that one. That one reads open basically. This one open. Strange, you wouldn't expect these to read open. Oh yeah. 100k. Basically open. Basically open. Open? Huh? Five ohms. That could be something like the CPU. Another little one here. 1.2k. Get on these ones. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't really open, but it's very high. That one does really open. That one does. That one does. These are not reading anything like I would really expect. 72, probably RAM. Same. Yeah. Huh. Okay, well, that's what I read. Okay. So, this area, something was getting hot for sure. Let's get the thermal camera. Well, last time I tried something like this, I mistook what I was looking for. So, let's see if I can do better this time. So, switch on. There. Now that's something shiny. Something is warming up somewhere. Uh huh. Looks like a capacitor. But it's not, well, it's just rather warm for capacity for no reason, 50 degrees. Okay, that's just in front of the MOSFET. This coil is warm. Okay, what's the resistance from that coil to ground? Hmm, hi. That doesn't make a lot of sense because this coil seems to be hot, it's 99k. That's the 12 volt one, where was the 1.8? Oh, there's one here, point four seven volts. That's not very uh, good. Uh, half a volt. That's not right. Point two four five three point three and five. We know about. Oh, another five is alone now as well. Well, the first thing I'm going to have to say is that capacitor shouldn't be getting hot. Yeah, for sure. Sixty degrees. What's on this capacitor? Nothing on that end. Nineteen on that end. Okay. And the other interesting thing is the voltages. So now. 1.8 is really in 0.4. This was 5, it's now 0.86. This was 3.3 and still is. This is 12 and still is. This one reads 5 as it did before. This one reads 0.188 and didn't read anything before. Nothing. 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 0.25. So basically, I have like a lot of low voltages. Well, here's the capacitor that gets hot. These are obviously a couple of MOSFETs, high side, low side. We can see the junction is here to here, I would say. Or is it here to here? Yeah, here to here is the junction. which is also the coil. This is the output of it. And then we have another MOSFET here and here. So 
this obviously drops voltage. We know there's 19 coming in here. Therefore, 12 would seem, well, a bit unusual, I would have thought, but correct. But there's no short from here to ground, about 100k. But the coil gets hot, so it must be passing a lot of current. Which makes me think that this 12 volts effectively supplies power to something else, some other regulators in here. And one of those is drawing a lot too much power. So it's like a short on a derived array or something like that. Battery voltage. Let's have a look. 11. Yeah, about 12. Let's disconnect the battery. Okay. There. So that's disconnected. And let's try to power this up again. And I'm going to power it up from my bench power supply. I want to see how much current this thing's actually drawing. So I have my bench power supply here. I have an adapter which goes to the HP type connector. In fact, it says on here, 4 HP. Okay. And that seems to be that type of connector, although this is Bang & Olufsen. I wouldn't be surprised if it's made by somebody else, to be honest. Yeah. Voltage. 19.8 so let's connect this up and let's see what the bench power supply does okay well now it's drawing practically no power interesting voltage there's now five on there without the battery attached okay 3.3 5 and they're back see if anything's getting warm nothing there nothing there Five. Nineteen. I'm thinking this might be the battery charge circuit, you know. Look, it's going to like 2.9 volts now. So the voltage output is changing. Is anything getting hot here anymore? No. The little capacitor doesn't get hot anymore. This looks to me, as the best I can see, and this is an 11.55 volt battery. And this is, well, we saw there was 12 volts. This must be charging the battery. Maybe there's a problem with the battery. That's the best I can come up with so far, because there's no shorts. The capacitor which gets hot has 19 volts across it anyway. But if this is drawing too much current, then if the effectively the charger has got a lot of ripple on it that capacitor is smoothing that ripple and it's going to get hot even though there's no short eh. yeah i'll just check the battery which he said is fully charged and it's down at 10.9 that's fully discharged i think that probably confirms it guys does this thing start without the battery No, there's no change on the bench power supply. I really thought it might have done. Forty milliamps. Ah, it started. I heard it. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's on. It's on. Okay, so. This has, as best I can say, a faulty battery. And I wouldn't want to do anything else other than change the battery and see what happens, okay? So that's what I can tell the customers. You can actually use it in the meantime if she wants to use it on the charger. I don't really see why not. Eh. Okay, how about that? An interesting one. What do you guys think? But personally, I wouldn't spend any more time until I get that battery changed. 
Okay. I just know you're going to talk about this down there. Yeah. What do you think of Richard's opinion? Let me know. And I look forward to seeing you all soon again on Learning Electronics Repair. Ciao for now, guys.